Islamic leader banned by the United Kingdom Department of Education for homophobia and misogyny. Recently, the United Kingdom's Department of Education decided to prohibit, hit, prohibit a Salafi activist known as Abu uh, Khadija from spreading his hateful rhetoric via officiating school teachings. Abu Khadija, real name wa, um, Wahid Alam, once managed school instructions at the Islamic Redstone Academy in Birmingham, UK. Alam produced several sermons and writings between 2015 and 2019 that showed his aversion to the LGBT population and distaste for women's rights. For example, he is known for preaching that women who have adopted the ways of Western society are worse, quote, even than the beasts. As publicly declared by the Department of Education, Alam was banned from officiating school teachings or engaging in conduct, quote, aimed at undermining the fundamental value of individual liberty. A 2019 Ofsted inspection revealed that Redstone Educational Academy, quote, has a history of failing to meet standards since 2014. Megan Manson, head of uh, campaigns at the National Secular Society, stated, quote, it's not hard to see why this school has a substantial history of failure, particularly regarding discrimination against female pupils. Ofsted much, must continue to take action and protect the rights and welfare of children at the school. If the school cannot prioritize pupils' educational needs above the archaic and fundamentalist religious dogma, it must be closed down. Yeah. Some somehow I suspect that this man, if this man was a Christian leader, that was um, homophobic and misogynist. His it would just act, these actions would have been happening a lot earlier. What do you think? Oh, um, honestly, I can't say. I I I, I can't speak to any level of bias for or against this guy because he's a Salafi. Um, yeah, so there is so much to get into here. So basically, like, he was he was in charge or worked in, like, a, a leading capacity in an independent school in Birmingham, UK. And independent schools have to meet certain governmental standards, right? Because government says we have to you know, you have to meet these standards to and be entrusted with the education of children. Um, and um, yeah, so he's been banned from teaching or engaging in, in conduct at these schools because of everything that he's been preaching. Um, there, wait, there's one thing. Um, his works, as the Department of Education describes, quote, fail to show tolerance of and respect for the rights of others. The publishings included his views that uh, seeking to restrict the activities of women and denigrate and demonize gay men. Alam's views came to light during a 2019 Ofsted inspection. Redstone Educational Academy wanted separate boys and girls schools and attempted to register them. But in a judgment in 2017, uh, denounced this practice as lawless discrimination. Alam, as chair of directors at Redstone Educational Services Limited, or uh, Limited or LTD, I think that stands for Limited, which owns and runs the academy, ignored that judgment. The inspection cited the proposed girls' school as, quote unquote, unlikely to meet the standards of educational schools as the proprietor, quote, publicly extols views that should not be promoted by the owner of an independent school in England. These views were, quote, offensive, inappropriate, and contrary to the Equality Act of 2010, the independence school standards and um, Department of Education statutory guidance, according to the department. Quote, it is therefore the view of the Secretary of State that Alam would be unable to comply with the safeguarding responsibilities and relevant legislation and guidance if he is to hold the school leadership um, role. So Alam's teachings and his comments uh, that Muslim scholars, quote, state that homosexuality comes due to a corruption of the natural state, which can be triggered by various events, including school indoctrination of children from an early age that goes against nature, health, and well-being. In 2019, Alam advised women that they must have permission from their husbands and fathers before leaving the house. So, um, I, 
Yeah. I Okay. Here's the thing. If the 2020 inspection found that boys at the school were treated favorably and have more privileges in more have more privileges at the school than girls and they've had consistent failings since 2014 i don't understand how they're even allowed to actually operate still it's almost a decade of failures to pass inspections <laughs> what but how did they manage to go on for this long i don't understand like that's what, what confuses me so the message is that you get you get away with this for the, for a decade almost a decade yeah is when they started even the if inspection. even if we have reports that you're doing this we're like we'll get to it i guess at some point i can't i don't understand like they had new they had the information that this was happening and it took this time i don't understand i don't understand yeah it actually confuses goes. me a lot okay so read some of these comments forever stormy and saying why is this guy free he you will have to find some other way to spread his hate well i mean i mean he's allowed, you, yeah, yeah why is how, he free? he's allowed to preach they're just saying he shouldn't have a role in the education of children i mean you can't arrest but i mean I, it's the uk i don't know what you could get arrested for but but shouldn't i mean you should be able to be free like why would they be in jail for expressing their opinions like you you for, forever stormy are you suggesting that people should be arrested for homophobia i don't think i think that would be extreme but what about this one um forever stormy is saying there shouldn't be any independent religious schools that's it i don't yeah, know I enough about the construction of the independent school system in the uk to be able to like i don't know describe why they do what they do over there so um yeah, but I agree. I don't think that you should allow religious schools. I think it should be illegal for you to be able to uh, brainwash children with religion, any religion. Well, I'm man, like, I think that this is an infringement upon their religious freedoms, though. Like, do you think this could be construed as an infringement upon his religious freedoms? I mean, in the same way that I don't know, like beheading apostates might be infringing upon your religious freedom, like banning the really banning hmm. of. You know, like, yeah, I mean, some of your, some of your religions, some of religion, some religious acts should be banned. Religious freedom yeah. does not, religious freedom doesn't mean like everything that is in religion is free. It means like the, the thing that you could practice your religion as long as you don't, you know, violate other laws, other violate other people's um, rights. And I think children's rights are being violated if you uh, brainwash them. So, for example, uh, it's not your religious freedom. It's not part of religious freedom for you to say, like, I don't want my kid to learn math, mathematics, right? You cannot say that. They're like, okay, we don't care that this is your religion. It's part of law that your kid has to learn math, okay? So by the same um, argument, you could say, like, well, we could have laws that says that you cannot brainwash children with religion. That is, that shouldn't be allowed. Uh, but, but, you know, we, we want... And if it's whose rights is being violated, the child, because the child has not, does not have enough, um, cannot get, get give informed consent over what kind of material is, um, um, you know, gullible mind can be exposed to. This is like mm -hmm. poison. You know, you should let the child. We know based on studies that kids need to learn mathematics, need to know how to read and write, need to know th these information religion is not something that you should be able to force upon a kid until it's, a, it's an adult i think that should be fair i should be like no schools no schools and uh, that teaches religion i think that's that, uh, do, is that extreme am i being a fascist i don't want to be a fascist let me know if that's fascist. <laughs> i really like this language that they were saying that he was banned for teaching or engaging in conduct that was aimed at undermining the fundamental value of individual liberty I don't know. I feel like that's just like a really crystallized and clear way of putting it. Like, yes, this is at, this is at the heart of the matter. Like, we need to inculcate children with a respect for the fundamental value of individual liberty. These yeah. are the values that our country has and imbues and stands for and defends. Read this comment. That's insane. Muhammad is saying something. 
Um, have you seen the video where Richard Dawkins visited one of these schools? They're actually arguing against evolution. Oh my gosh, yeah. The, have you seen this video, Armin? Like they no, but that's just, like, famous. That should be illegal. That's illegal. You you know you can't do that. That is that school just survived? Like how is that not? Is that, I have no idea sure? what the status of that random school was. You can't. It was just, embarrassing. This is a violation of the children's rights. You're poisoning their mind. Also, parents don't own the children. Like people, are like oh, it's my kids. No, it's not. Okay, just because it came out of your body doesn't mean you own the thing. You can't own human beings. Okay, you can't be like I decide for my children. You don't. You suck as a parent. Okay, you don't get to just because you know this is <laughs> these are citizens of a country that they cannot the the least um, you know the weakest citizens of a country, right? And they're they're being betrayed. In an environment where they're supposed to be kept safe by people who are supposed to be caring, taking care of them, and you're failing at it, and the government needs to get involved. Like these kids need to be exposed to proper information, and proper skills, and proper uh, mindset to be able to be functioning members of society. And if you fail that as a parent, you cannot be like, "Oh, it's my property." It's not your property. It's no one's property. You don't have the right to decide to ruin your own child's future. Anyways. I agree. Okay. So Gossip is calling me a fascist in the live chat. I do not appreciate that. Fascists don't usually say, am I being a fascist? I don't want to be a fascist. Okay. So that's my sign for not being a fascist. Okay. Uh -huh. Anyways. <laughs> that's my own. If you say that three tip. times, it doesn't count. You know, it, it, you just wipe away everything else. Oh. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. Thank <laughs> you.